Hey friends, we are back with another one, Handyman Clarence video, another bedroom makeover. Now this was previously Kalia's room, she had the master bedroom upstairs, but we had Boo and Lonnie sleeping in this small bedroom, so we had to switch them out so that they can have their own separate beds, their own little area, plus it had the bigger closet. Kalia was a little upset about giving up her master bedroom, but you know. It is what it is. So we are taking this drab room and remaking it over in this video. Stay tuned so you can see what was all done in my tips and tricks. So this time I recruited the girls in doing this room makeover. Usually I recruit Christian, but I was like, you know what? I'm about to put these girls to work. So we are pulling up this ugly, hideous carpet that was previously down and we're gonna be installing some laminate flooring. If you want more details on how I installed the flooring, you'll have to check out our other bedroom makeover for, for Kalia's room. I went into a little bit more details on that one. This one, we're gonna be talking more about furniture and decorum in this video. But before I go any further let me not forget to invite you to subscribe to our channel if you are new thank you for joining us on another video to all of my returning subscribers hey bestie hey friend hey sis hope you are being safe and blessed as always so let's jump into it so I had the girls help me with painting so we had this teal color going on in there uh, it previously matched Kalia's um, bedroom set kind of color thing absolutely hate it now so of course I'm going with a more neutral color now this is a gray but it has like hints of purple in it because we're changing the girls room to like a gray and lavender kind of vibe this this was definitely hard for me to allow the girls to help me paint I usually don't allow anyone to help me paint a wall because I'm very uh, particular about um how you paint my wall so i at first had lonnie doing um using a bigger roller and then she was just making a hot ass mess so i had to take that roller from her and give her this little baby roller just so she could feel like she was included um and it, it still was not working for me but i tried to like just give her her own wall and walk away and i'll just come and like come back and retouch it up that that part was probably the most hardest part of this entire freaking room makeover So this is what it looks like. I can't remember the color right off the dome right now, but I'll, I'll have it in the description box for you guys in case you do wanna know what exact color this is. Now I'm jumping into the floors. I'm laying down some gray laminate floors, the same floors that we did in Kalia's bedroom. These are the floors that are throughout my entire house. So um, like I said, if you want a bit more details on how I install my flooring, you'll have to check out our previous bedroom makeover. I talk more about that. So this is what it looks like afterwards. Um, I also changed out the ceiling fan because that ceiling fan was dated, honey. All right, it was dated. Then uh, we finally got their furniture. We purchased this cute little bedroom set from Rooms To Go. Very inexpensive, very inexpensive. At least to me, it was inexpensive. I didn't think it was too much and then it came with a tundra or oh, it didn't come with it I purchased it with the tundra that's that little bed underneath for you know little sleepovers and whatnot and then we're gonna go into their bed set they uh, get their sheets their blankets their covers pillows all of that came from dormify dormify there we go so we're just putting together their beds um Kalia is trying to, you know, help too because her bedroom set had came in. We purchased her stuff from Pottery Barn, which was an absolute nightmare, okay? Pottery Barn, do do better, okay? That's all I'm gonna say, do better. Rooms to go, they was A1, I appreciate it. They got my stuff out quick, fast, in a hurry. With Kalia's furniture, I had to wait like three months, more like six months for her freaking furniture and it was a bunch of back and forth. The girls did have a hand in picking out what they wanted their beds to look like. I showed them a few pictures and some ideas on Pinterest. And this is pretty much what they came up with, what they wanted their rooms to look like. And I'm pretty proud of them. They they picked up some good stuff. I really like it. We I feel like we made the vision come alive. It looks good. So I also wanted to redo the closet as well. So the walls that I, the color I painted was just a slightly darker purple. It was more of a purple purple um, in the closet. I put up a new closet system. The top half, of course, is gonna be for Kehlani, and the bottom half is for Callista. I also purchased these lights. 
off of Amazon because you know Christian was just like well the the closet's kind of dark they can't see anything let's put some lights in there a little motion detection so they can be able to see what they doing I, I don't know why because them heifers still can't dress with this light in the closet so they can see what they pulling out they still don't know how to dress so I mean the point of it I don't know but it, it was cute All right, let's get into the final reveal of this bedroom makeover after everything was said and done and I made them clean it up because <laughs> this is this is not reality right here. Please do not think that this is what they room look like every single day, okay? Just disclaimer, it's usually drawers and socks and shoes everywhere. So I had to make them clean up before I showed it off. So we purchased a desk, a dresser, a nightstand, two twin beds and a chest of drawers um, for their bedroom. Of course, Kehlani has one bed and Boo has another one. Uh, we did the lavender and gray color scheme. I purchased them a little area rug off of Wayfair, very inexpensive. We completed the closet system with a new organization going on. They now have a shoe rack. Each little, each girl has her own uh, rack for her clothes to hang on. Like I mentioned earlier, Lonnie has the top half, Boo has the bottom half. They have a nice little toy chest. There's a TV night mounted all nice now the dresser came with a mirror but since the tv is over the dresser we decided to place the mirror over the desk um that way they can have a mirror in their room even though they don't use it because i told you they don't know how to dress but that's pretty much the end of everything thank you guys for joining us on another handyman clarence video we will see y'all on another one be blessed and be safe